Big Brothers Big Sisters believe that every child has the ability to succeed and thrive in life. Big Brothers Big Sisters makes meaningful matches between adult volunteers, bigs, and children, littles, ages 6 through 18, right here in our community. Developing positive relationships that have a direct and lasting effect on everyone involved. Here in northern Nevada, we serve about a thousand children every year by matching them with caring, stable adults who can spend at least one hour a week with them. Are there any qualifications to become a, a little, if you will? Well, to become a little, uh, the family needs to be living at or below the poverty level and just very much want a companion, a friend for the child. Can you tell us some of the activities that you've seen over the years? Oh my gosh, we offer 101 things to do with your little at any given point in time. We try to take the mystery out of being a big brother or big sister by making it very easy. Uh, we get aces, basketball tickets, I mean, uh, baseball tickets, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, we get Bighorns basketball tickets, we get opera tickets, tickets to the museum, opportunities for kids to see and explore things here just in our local area that they might never have an opportunity. National research has shown that positive relationships between littles and bigs have a direct and measurable impact on children's lives. Here's the proof. Littles are more confident in their schoolwork and able to get along better with their families. 46% less likely to begin using illegal drugs, 27% less likely to begin using alcohol, 52% less likely to skip school. I think for anybody who's a big brother or big sister, I think they feel they get as much or more out of the experience than even the little brother or little sister does. I think the experience really grounds you. It reminds you what's important, which is just the simple act of friendship and forming that bond of, with someone who cares about you, cares where you are, cares if you've gone to school, cares what your grades might be, and most importantly, your dreams and what you want to be when you grow up. I have been a mentor for just over two years. My little's name is Horatio Lopez. I know, well, he's a guy, so mm -hmm. he's the only guy that really I hang out with because when I was younger, I didn't really get to hang out with my dad. We have done so many activities together, uh, such as going to see the monster trucks in Reno. We love to uh, bounce on the trampolines. Uh, we love to go hiking. I mostly gained my confidence, um, in, like for example, talking in front of other people. We make sure that we vet individuals who can make a commitment for at least one hour a week. They can either see a child in one of the elementary schools where we have a program and see that child just at their lunch break in the cafeteria or play, you know, recess mm -hmm. with them, dribble a ball, maybe do a puzzle, maybe read together, or we, can, we match people with kids uh, who can be seen on the weekends or, an, or a weeknight. We usually meet um, once a week for lunch and this is the on-site program and so I'll usually come here and we'll we'll eat lunch and then we'll just diff we'll play different games or we'll go outside and um, we just really have you know a great time. Well, sometimes it's like sometimes I bring a ball and we play games with my balls like soccer, basketball, kickball, soccer ball. The program is for about a year and a half, but, but really, I mean, I could stay with Jerry for, you know, until he graduates elementary school and even uh, into middle school. And yeah. I'm about to graduate on Wednesday. Our rule of thumb is at least one hour a week, mm -hmm. and we've found through studies and research that one hour when it culminates over the course of a year, can make dramatic differences in that child's ability and, and their self-esteem, self-confidence, trust in other adults, reduction of truancy, better school grades. I, I think the self-esteem is such an important quotient because that, in fact, is what drives all of us to think about what we want to be when we grow up, the very fact we think we can become something when we grow up. Sure, very good point. What if every child fulfilled their potential? Think how amazing that would be. What does Big Brothers Big Sisters need from our community to start more littles on the path to big things? The tragedy, and the only tragedy with this program, is that we can't find enough adults to volunteer to become Big Brothers Big Sisters. We have hundreds of kids on a waiting list. Lots of young boys saying, why isn't there a friend out there for me? I so much want to 
dribble a ball or play in the park or run around the track or little sisters who may say the same thing including dribble a ball or maybe learn how to bake cookies or go shopping or show me some things I don't know. And so we work very hard to try and find volunteers. Okay, so conversely, if you're at home thinking about being a volunteer, mm -hmm. what is it? I mean, it's just a phone call, go to the website, learn about it? Either one, just call here, ask for someone, ask questions, say, can I, should I, uh, what do I need to do, what does it take? And we want to be very honest with people. We want to vet them through the process so that no one is making a commitment that they truly can't keep because we do ask for that one-year commitment. Can you give us a, a view nationally of what the kind of impact they have and how many kids go through this? Sure, there are almost 400 affiliates nationwide and we're serving hundreds of thousands of kids and the data is enormous in terms of the impact and lasting impact. And it's amazing to read about many people who were littles. We have many people in this community who've done remarkably well in their careers and family life and they were littles at one point in time. For whatever reason, a big brother, a big sister entered into their life and help them to grow and mature and feel the confidence to pursue their dreams. Just to make him, you know, the best that he can be. And he, he's very smart, he's, you know, he's very personable and he's gonna do great. And I just wanna be there kind of for the ride. There are so many things that you gain being a big brother. I mean, between the, the, the mentorship that's involved, the fact that I think there's a lot of ways to give back to a community. There's a lot of ways to be uh, to give back from a charitable standpoint. You can always give money, but I wanted it to be something personal. When I decided to do this, it was how can I have a, a positive effect, a lasting positive effect on a, on, a, on a little kid. It's very fulfilling, but most importantly, it sets these kids on a path for their lives and enables them to dream big, as we say. And, and of course, it, it helps obviously the individuals, but our entire community. Our entire well, nation. I think it's all about the community and we'd love to see more people say I care about the future and these kids are our future and what they do and how they lead their lives and whether they graduate from high school will make a difference in the future leadership of this community.